to hate YouTube. This is just a bit of a fun, quick visual comparison between OpenSUSE on the left, so running on the XFCE desktop environment, and OpenSUSE on the right, running on the GNOME desktop environment. Now, uh, this is called Tumbleweed, so it's the uh, the rolling release, so you get updates all the time. There's no real point releases to speak of. But without further ado, let's get into it. So having a look at the startup menu. Now, OpenSUSE seems to be running on the, the, the stock or default uh, XFCE desktop environment, so not that exciting there. A little bit visual, I like that there. All the office apps, internet apps, multimedia apps, even if well, maybe one educational app, the LibreOffice doesn't really count, and some graphics apps there as well like GIMP, so that's nice to see there. If we do a little bit of a right click, we can see our context menu nicely uh, colored in with pictures. I'm always a fan of that. Let's move across to the uh, the GNOME desktop environment for OpenSUSE. So I'm never really a big fan of GNOME. I'm, not ju I'm just, after all these years, I'm still not sure where to click naturally. But I guess I go up to activities, and then if I want to have a look at all the running applications there, I suppose I have to scroll down and it's not itemized the way that XFCE is. So although XFCE may seem a little bit easier to use, uh, it's definitely not as perhaps as pretty to look. But does prettiness matter? I don't know. Uh, we're running on the same, uh, you could say, I guess, backdrop there. That's nice enough to see. But uh, if we were to maybe look at the kernels and the RAM usage, actually, let's have a look at the RAM usage because that is always a, a key indicator of what's optimized and what is not. So if I just jump ahead to this, and you know what, I haven't installed it, so I've got to go to the system monitor if I can find it. Now bear with me, as this is really the first time I'm using OpenSUSE, so I'm not as well uh, into understanding what's going on here always, but let's go to system monitor, and here we go. Ugh, it's a little bit messy. This is not pretty for a GNOME desktop environment. Just got to squeeze it out there. So here we go. Uh, we uh, ran it. Ooh, huge, just just massive. 1.5 gigabytes of RAM on boot up. There's nothing else in the background here except for the GNOME based desktop environment itself. And then let's have a look at uh, is it the task manager? Let's see. I'm, I'm not seeing a lot of okay memory usage 20%. But it's not really giving me enough information there. There we go. So open up. Not very pretty, uh, to say the least, but it is there. So 870 megabytes of RAM on boot up, constantly changing there. Almost half, not quite. Probably uses about 40% more, or, uh, actually more like 70, 80% more for the GNOME variant. So always something to, to keep uh, handy there in terms of knowledge, just depending on what you'll load up, what machine you'll use it for, like a notebook or something. Uh, last but not least, let's maybe have a little bit of a look at the uh, the files and things here. So the, the file manager, so we are using the GNOME files on the right hand side, uh, de facto standard with any GNOME desktop environment. Looks nice, but it just seems more simplified somehow. Right click, open up a terminal, that's good. And on the left hand side we are using what should be the Thuna, there we go, the Thuna file manager. A nice little lightweight file manager, but still fully functional. In fact, got a few more options on the context menu there, which is pretty crazy. Uh, same could be said for on the the main desktop there as well. So right click. It's hardly anything. I can't do anything with this. I can change my background and go to settings, which is also here, but it's not giving me a lot of options. Not a fan of GNOME, generally speaking. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.